Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Asian Psycho, and today I'm bringing you guys a new video, bringing you a, a kind of like a tutorial of going through the new UI. If you guys don't know what UI stands for, it means user interface. It's what the game looks like before you actually jump into a game. As you guys all know, Nexon has revamped Combat Arms' UI system with the latest uh, June 19th patch, I think it was, that completely changed how the game looks as long as you're not inside the game. Just how it looks from the room lobbies, the channel lobbies, and whatnot. So, here we go. So, as you guys can see here, this is your welcome screen after you log in either through main page or through direct or however you guys log in. This is your welcome page. So, right off the bat, you'll see in the middle of the screen your your friends list. And before, in the last patch, or before this patch anyway, your messenger list or your friends list was at the bottom right hand corner, which was kind of tucked away and not so obvious. And before there were a few quirks and a few glitches where if you tried to open that messenger in the um, in the previous patch then it would sometimes crash your game depending on which kind of patch uh, you were on at that moment uh, now they have actually just straight away given you a friends list right here so you can see okay which friends are online right off the bat and sure uh, and conveniently enough they can have, they have also added a join user feature where if you see a friend online you want to join them then you can go ahead and click on their name and then click join user and it should take you straight to the game unless of course they're in a room that's completely full or otherwise inaccessible then obviously you won't be able to join the game so with that in mind uh, they also give you a clan tab next to your friends uh, friends list and because I am currently clanless uh, nothing comes up here but I, I would imagine that if you are part of a clan you are you will be able to see you know who's online in your clan who's not online and just see everyone who's in your clan in general so that's a very nice feature that they have added on top of that the usual event pages the new quantums uh, the quantum labs events the race to the top events can be seen here and the recent NX sales the return to mist N and the happy birthday North America gun sales are all listed here as well now looking at the left hand side of the screen you'll see a couple things first off you'll see the commerce menu where if you click on it you can either access your inbox charger and X I imagine if you click this it'll take you to the main page the hotshot events or the five shot events sorry uh, if they are available the event calendars video report help options menu and exit also if you just click on this one it'll just take you to straight to the notice page which, which asks you which you like to close combat arms so either way you can use to use to you know exit combat arms on top of that you've got your usual quick join option once again though if you click on a uh, quick join it'll take you automatically to default setting uh, room it'll basically just plop you into a room that's you know easiest for the system to put you into however if you do click on options here you will be able to uh, toggle up to uh, custom settings so you're able to pinpoint okay you know which rooms which rules and which map you want to play on most and you just you can just quick join like that so the quick join option is still there for you to use on top of that it will also give you your account information right here so they have also added a charge and X button for whatever reason here in case you you know are in game and say hey I wanna buy a weapon let's go charge an X and here's a dandy dandy button for you what do you know so with that in mind, let's now take a look at the actual servers itself. Usually, you won't, re you really won't have any use for the regular server or clan server um, tabs because all servers, you know, you see all of them at once anyway. Obviously, Black Market, Golf, uh, What Papa, Foxtrot, Bravo, Bulldog, which is clan only, and Jackson are all available for you. So let's go into Bravo West and go into one of the rooms. Now, once you actually go into one of these rooms, this will be your new uh, screen for what your the UI looks like. So, with this in mind, you can see all the rooms will be available for you. If you don't have your cursor over a room, then there's nothing pops up on the on the right hand side of your screen. But once you do, you will see all the room details like the mode, the player amount, the arms restrictions, everything else. So that is very very useful indeed. Now. The room filters did come in an update previously, but it wasn't really used uh, very much because you know it was out of the way and you couldn't really see it very well. However, with this new UI, you are able to 
really easily use the filter system by clicking on the ones that are joinable and it'll clear out all the rooms that are not currently available and because you know they're full or something like that also they have given you a no password filter so if you click on this then you will remove all the rooms that have any sort of passwords on them so if you click on these both then you will just be able to see all the rooms that are available to you at that current moment in time also as usual they have the mode filters and the map filters so you can really pinpoint what you want to see so if you want to back out of the server you all you need to do is click on the change servers and you're you'll be out to the, uh, the welcome screen again where you can see all the rooms and if you want to create your own room then here you go you have got all the, your uh, your room name all the w things that you need to create your own room and obviously if you click on a room if you don't want to double click on it for whatever reason then you can always click on join and there you go you're in a room now one thing that you'll notice is missing from the UI right now is oh where's the you know where's the lobby chat now the lobby chat is actually hidden underneath here so that it's tucked away so that you can see the entirety of the room you know all the rooms that you can see it's available to you if you press enter or click this button right here it will pop up the uh, lobby chat so you guys can see it the messages I imagine it would be because of the super megaphones like say if there was a super megaphone that you wanted to see but you couldn't catch it in time because the chat you know the lobby chat is going too fast then all you need to do is just filter out all the non super megaphone words and uh, click on this so you can see just the super megaphone messages messenger I imagine this is uh, for your friends list only I haven't, I haven't had a chance to try it out um, specifically myself but that's what I imagine it to be and also your notes uh, feature I don't know how many of you guys use this but the notes are there for you to use it also divides your notes from incoming to outgoing so outgoing are the ones that you know you're writing out to people and incoming are the ones that you're receiving also new note reply delete everything's there for you if you press enter again then it hides it again so that's very convenient though it, it did take me a couple couple minutes to figure out oh hey where's the lobby chat all you need to do is press, press enter and press enter again to hide it away now, notice if you go out to the welcome screen, you wouldn't be able to access any of the buttons up here, the lobby, my character, the emporium, clan, and job. However, once you actually do join a room in a random uh, server, then now you will be able to access these, these buttons up here. Obviously, because we are already in a lobby, you can't click on this again because it's not going to do anything. You're already in a lobby, so what's the, what's the point? However, if you do go to my character, then you will be able to check out your own inventory and uh, currently if you click on a weapon right here then you will be able to see all your assault rifles actually this will this is everything that you own so if you want to check out only your assault rifles what you need to do is click on category and it will drop down all the cap available categories that uh, you can access go to weapon primary and assault rifles and it should give you all your list of assault rifles for you uh, for your viewing pleasure so to speak and then alternatively, you can also uh, select from some machine guns, sniper rifles, machine guns, shotguns, and etc. Same thing applies to the secondary, melee support, and special weapons. And basically, this is where you need to go to access all your gear, all your items, and all your weapons. So there you go. Modifications, you can go here and then see how, what kind of specific modifications you have. Same with the Emporium. You can see what kind of uh, equipment that you have for the Emporium so you can check easily oh I have I have this amount of let's say fusion pals I have this much amounts of uh, customization parts so it's all right there for you another easy way to access modifications is to simply click on the modifications tabs and you will see everything that there is to offer however if you do it for assault rifles or any random weapon uh, it wouldn't do the same if it seems like if you do it for pistols then it will take you to the pistols only tab but if you do it onto a primary weapon of sorts it will simply give you all your primary weapons so don't do that make sure you go to your category and specify what you want to see and so that you can be able to equip the, your, the weapon that you want very easily Again, if you don't want to go through the hassle of going through gear and all that, there is the weapon tab, there's the gear tab, there's a cosmetic tab, function tab, and ability tab, all there right there for you, just like the previous inventory UI in the previous patch. Now comes the tricky part. So the Emporium is the tab that you need to go in order to access a shop. The Forge and the Customize screens are the same as ever. They are the same as with the Emporium in the previous UI of of you know previous patches past 
However, the Emporium is where you go in order to access a shop. Once you click on the shop, you can actually see the revamped shop system. This kind of layout was already available in, in the previous UI before the June 19th patch, but this is where it is now mandatory for you to see. From here, you can see the hot category. You can see what's being hot right now. And conveniently enough, the shop will also tell you what guns you've already purchased. All, you, all these guns that you see here that have the bold word or the green bold word purchased over obviously mean that you already have it in your inventory and there's really no need for you to buy it again unless you know you haven't bought it for a permanent duration of sorts. For example, the M14 Hunter, I have not bought it for perm so I can buy it again. However, with the, for example, the M107 Gold Sorry, Old Glory or the Maple Leaf, if I try clicking on them, then that's funny because I actually can't, I can actually can buy it again, which is kind of strange because I already have these for perm. Either way, the shop will tell you that you have already purchased these weapons, and if you already have them for permanent, there's really no reason for you to buy them again. It seems like the shop UI has also implemented a few new buttons. For example, the reset preview, it'll take, what it'll do It'll is that your weapon, your character will be sitting here and you can hold down on your character and kind of spin him or her around if that's what you want to do. But if, if you click on reset preview, it'll, re, it'll force your character to reset whatever weapon that he or she has been holding at the time. Obviously, if you click on another weapon, then it'll, then not a melee weapon, of course, that was a bad, bad example. But if you click on, say, an M14 Hunter, your character will automatically hold that weapon as a preview. So if you click on reset preview, then she'll go back to holding the Vitamin Ridge again, from, in my case, anyway. On the left-hand side, you'll see all your money, whether it be NX prepaid, NX credit, and GP. So if, you don't, if you're not sure how much money you have, just look over here, and uh, all the money count will be here for you for your viewing pleasure. Obviously, the black market and the shopping cart tabs, uh, just like in previous UIs, are also here, so they are also here for you to check out. And with that being said, the categories of the shop are very similar to your inventory categories. All you need to do is just click on New, and then you'll see everything that's being offered that are recent uh, releases, and go to Weapons, Primary, Assault Rifles, Submachine Guns, everything else for you to be able to purchase the weapon that you want to be looking for. Also, the clan tab is also, in terms of weapons anyway, now in integrated with the shop. So you don't go to your clan tab, instead you just go to shop tab, or under the Emporium tab, that is. And then go to category, and then clan, and you can see all the available clan items there for you. Uh, whether it be clan weapons or clan items. Now the clan tab has also been changed in that you can see that obviously has been changed. Clan match lobby, clan servers, clan information. Unlike the previous UI, like I said just now, the clan weapons, you cannot buy them from the clan tab anymore. You actually have to go to the shop itself for you to be able to buy those weapons. It seems like they have revamped the clan system so that it can take you to uh, clan match lobbies much more efficiently and let you communicate and interact with your clan a little bit more intimately, so to speak. Again, I have not been a part of a clan for some quite some time now, so I have not been able to experience this clan, this new clan UI to the fullest extent. But if you are part of a clan and if you do know your way around it, then props to you. Hope you are, guys are enjoying the new clan UI. Now, finally, we go to the Jobs tab. The Jobs tab obviously was used to be part of the Combat Arms menu. If you clicked on this, then you saw uh, there was daily jobs or stuff like that. Now with this new UI, the job is now part of its own tab. You have the daily jobs tab where if you click on it, you can check out all the daily jobs that I see here. You can do, click on collect job where this used to be also part of the Emporium, but also with this new uh, with this new UI update, the Nexon has decided to take the Emporium jobs and put it under just jobs tab in general. So there's where you have the uh, Emporium jobs and you can see how far you've completed in these particular jobs. Also the upgrade jobs are available here as well and you are able to view all the upgrades that are available uh, for you to complete if you have these weapons under your inventory and you want to upgrade them. So with the daily job the collect job and the upgrade job that rounds out the ta the job tab in the, under the uh, new UI system. And finally, 
In order to access your inbox, all you need to do is click on the commerce menu and click on inbox and it'll take you straight to your inbox and in there you can see you know what's in your inbox, what you want to take out of it and click on something and you can you know if you want to sell it back or activate it then all the buttons are here for you and also if you want to check out your inventory again there's where you go in order to check out your inventory and you can switch back and forth from your inventory and your inbox and yeah that'll wrap up the new UI system for the latest combat arms patch as of June 19th my name is Asian Psycho aka Tony Sniper 98 hope this tutorial has been useful for you and if you guys want to ask me more about this tutorial then please leave a comment below and thanks for watching I'll see you guys later